Okay, here we go. Welcome back to my YouTube. I'm um, upgrading, installing D2 uh, coil adjustable airbags on it. Before I had uh, air runners. Okay, installing them into it. This time I'm installing two compressors on it. Uh, I think it's uh, 444 cc's, yep. 444 cc's, if you can see it, it says right there. Comes with the hardware. The hardware also comes with uh, the relays. This air runner kit, I got it on YouTube. Came with some um, vinyl stickers, more hardware instructions. I got him on e I got him on eBay. Okay. Uh, there's the hardware for the for the D2's um, bags. Okay. They're gonna be installed into this '97 Honda Accord. Like I said before I had Air Runners. That was a company name. Air bags on it. Had no coils. Um, real good. They were real good, but sold them. And I wanted D2s because they're a little bit lighter. So right here. I'm going to still use the tank for it. Uh, instead of one, like I said, I'm going to have two compressors on it. And let's get to it. I just finished uh, lifting up the car. All four wheels are up on jacks. I'm just giving you guys step by step. I'm going to try to. Okay. Let's start taking out the wheel. All right. Right now I'm going to take out <clears throat> the right front um, D2 coil overs. Okay, similar to taking out a regular one, a regular shock. Okay, you take you come over here, you take out this bolt, put something to hold on to that bolt right there, that bolt right there, and that should come that come out. You gotta loosen this bolt right here, that's a bolt. And that will uh, take out the tension to this cup, this cup right here. This right here, you just, uh, well, on this, it's just, just a big tie wrap or tie strap, whatever you want to call it. And you cut it up and uh, it'll take the, take the lines of the, take the brake lines out. Okay, over here, from there, take those bolts out. And then you come over here and you take these two bolts down and it should just pop off. You have to, uh, this has to fall down. Okay, this has, this right here has to fall down so you can label, it should be able just to drop down and this part drop up, I mean go up or stay there and you should be able to take it out easily. That's all it's to it, same similar to the other side. So I, I don't have to film the other side. Um, okay, and from when I do these two sides, I'm gonna go to the rear and I will film the rear. Okay. All right, I'm in the rear passenger. I forgot to um, to video the takeout of this truck. Again, taking out the D2. Uh, the two holes on top, you have to take off. Spider right there. Take them off from back here. You can see one hole right there, one hole right there, two screws. And, and the two ones that fit right here. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to pop off because when I put the D2s and the other airbags, I use this. Anti-seize. It doesn't seize, the rust won't um start what is it start going together with the 
with the chassis of the car, part of the car, it won't be hard to take off. Easy, easy steps. Buy that thing, that little jar was eight, nine dollars, I don't remember. But it's worth it. All right, let me show you. This is the right rear. Okay, right here was the bottom bolt that I took out from. And this one, and this one was the bolt from the top. That's it. Four, uh, three bolts had to take off. All right. All right. All right. Just finished installing the passenger side rear. I didn't have to change this anywhere. Maybe because it's coming out like this. I really don't like how it looks. But I'm gonna see just because of the air, you know. But I'm gonna see how it is once I put air in it. Again, I'm not taking the tire. I'm not putting the tire back on. Okay. I put this right here, three inches. Same way as putting on the other ones. You got two screws on top and one big screw on the bottom. That's it with that. Again, it'll get adjusted once it's uh once it's all put on, dropped. Everything will be readjusted. Alright, I'm gonna work on the driver's side rear now. Okay, I already put I already put the tire on. Uh, I was just trying to speed it up a bit. Uh, same way when I said that the, I didn't like the lines how it was. So I changed it. If you could see right here. See, I put it from there to straight this way. I did the drill cut. Show you real quick over here. I drilled it right here. I also put this. That right, I also put that right there so it won't, you know, it won't mess up. The metal won't mess up. It's, uh, how can I say, uh, crimp the, uh, crimp the air, the airline. Okay, so that's what I did. Did that, and I did it to the other side also. Okay, so I did change it up. Show the other side. I did put the wheel on the other side. If you can see, okay, see, cut the line from there. Okay, also put that uh, plastic piece surrounding it, so it went around on this time, on this one, and I put it there, and no leaks because I already got the bag going. Uh, okay. All right, as you can see. I put the D2's uh, airbag, all right? Also tie wrap the brake line, okay? I moved the, the, the air line to come out from somewhere else. Moved it to come out over here on this side. Hopefully that's good. Looks like it's gonna touch something, but it won't, because that doesn't move. That doesn't move at all, okay? Uh, when I told you that it was gonna, when I was gonna take the strut out, the the regular coilovers, I uh, just show you this over here. Uh, hold on. And it was dark. So those are the three bolts that was gonna come out. And same thing with the other side. All right. 